the whole BITS project comes together in this setting, which is an old uh, workshop um, downtown Milan in the Brea district. Um, it's a carpenter's shop. My, my aim here was, was to, um, to um, focus on this mix from past to present, so from tradition to technology, to uh, give a kind of um, emphasis to the project. So the, the workshop, the, um, the workbenches, the, the instruments used by, by the carpenter, um, to try and recreate and evoke this kind of um, sensation, almost like a um, provocation in a, in a certain sense, um, um, alluding to the fact that these products could have been also um, produced in this context. The, the facet collection, which is based on a pattern which um, is interesting because we have the, the pattern which carries on, which, which um, proceeds beyond the frame of the, of the tile, so that it becomes one whole um, inlay, um, trying to hide as much as possible the, um, the, uh, the framing of the tile, the, the, the size of the tile, and going beyond that and, and extending it to a whole floor image, basically rather than having pieces of marble, we have pieces of wood with, which have been chopped up and stuck into the, into the cement resin base. This is all an apparent, um, uh, uh, a simulation, a graphic simulation of what is, um, we're trying to represent. So there, is, there are three ele basic elements, there's a central element and the corner elements to be able to, to uh, compose the, the carpet so to speak, within the space, which was something that they really did, very much did in the past with the uh, Palladian flooring. <clears throat> so this was something that I really liked to bring into the, um, into the project again, um, to tie it in with, uh, with um, that kind of um, imagery, that kind of um, uh, possibility, giving the client the possibility to, uh, to compose the, the, the flooring according to his needs. Uh, here we can actually see the, the grain of the wood, yeah, which is um, offset onto the, um, the, um, the background, which is this kind of um, um, cement um, uh, base, uh, which outlines the tozzetti, the, um, the, the bits, the so-called bits, and, and gives it that graphic, um, very strong graphic imagery. Um, this is the, the, the floor version, which is sort of larger in proportion. They are larger um, chunks of wood, and that is the wall version, which, uh, which is scaled down accordingly. In the quad um, collection, the, the pattern is no longer um, haphazard. It's no longer um, scattered. It's, um, more, it's a more linear grid form, but the grid here is irregular. The grid is not, the, the, the squares are not perfectly lined up. Um, the squares are off, just slightly offset, slightly irregular. And this was intentionally done to give that feel of manuality. Um, these products are made in a factory. They're made through an industrial process. And in fact, in the, um, in, the, in, this, in this space, we're also showing this, we're also showing technology. So there is on one side, there is the tradition, there is the, uh, the smell of the wood in the space, there, is, there are all the instruments which evoke the past, and then we have the present and the future, which is technology. So trying to bring these two elements, these two, um, these two forces together, um, which is really a kind of an analogy of what I've tried to do with, um, with, a, with a BITS collection. So it's just trying to carry on with my intention, with, with what has been done on the product, also in the space.